welcome back to another episode of the instant efficiency series in previous videos we have seen how to store and share documents using sharepoint document libraries this is a good beginning but there is much more let us say we have 200 customer proposals stored in a document library we want to know the total potential sales for next month we could open each proposal document and manually tabulate the deal values but even the thought of doing this is cumbersome as always sharepoint can help the idea is simple make it mandatory to enter the deal value at the time of storing the proposal in sharepoint while we are at it might as well capture the expected closure date these pieces of information about a document are called document properties so far so good but let's say we create two types of proposals local and international for international proposals we need to capture additional properties like country and shipment type of course we also have two different proposal templates for local and international business sharepoint gives us a smart way to manage all this called content type what is a content type it is the name of a type of document a set of properties and an optional template let us see this in action we have two content types local proposal an international proposal the first step is to create the content types now we need to allow the document library to use our content types finally we assign the two content types to this library now let us see the benefits SharePoint lets you choose the type of proposal you want to create. The appropriate template opens in Microsoft Word. This is a great way of standardizing your proposals. While editing the proposal, Word also allows you to fill in the properties. When the document is stored, properties are visible in the library. Analyzing the proposals is now child's play. You can sort, filter, and group the data as required. Here is how you can view proposals by country or pipeline by month. These are called views. In fact, smartly designed views give you live reports without any manual work. Every department can use this concept to organize their documents. All that is needed is to identify various types of documents and create appropriate content types. In this video, we have used Word documents as an example, but you can use content types to organize any kind of document. Why don't you try this? and organize your documents more effectively. Do send us your queries and feedback. Thank you.